Insert the foot pedal into the main unit, tighten it clockwise. Install the handpiece support. Press firmly until you hear a clicking sound. Press the power symbol to turn on the main unit. Insert the piston end of the anesthetic cartridge into the handpiece. Screw the container onto the handpiece. Screw the needle with needle cap. The entire handpiece, including the needle cap, can be inserted into the handpiece support. Hold the container before injection. Insert the whole handpiece into the needle cap holder. Pull out the handpiece to keep the needle cap in the holder. The foot pedal stroke is divided into the front section and back section, corresponding to the two speeds in the injection mode. Foot pedal calibration is needed when using for the first time or replacing a new foot pedal. Click the setting icon, and then click the foot pedal calibration icon to enter the interface. Click to start. Step on the foot pedal and hold for more than one second according to personal habits. If you want the front stroke of the pedal to be shorter, step on it lightly. If you want the front stroke of the pedal to be longer, step on it harder. Then release and wait for more than one second. Click the finish icon to complete the calibration. If you want to cancel this calibration, click Cancel. eFlow has three injection speeds. Slow, Medium and Fast. eFlow has four injection modes, you can click to switch. Normal mode, with slow and medium injection speeds. Step on the foot pedal to start the injection. The injection speed, pressure value, pressure bar graph and remaining dosage will be displayed in real time on the screen. The injection speed is slow when pedaling to the front of the stroke. The injection speed is medium when pedaling to the rear of the stroke. Fast mode, with medium and fast injection speeds. Step on the foot pedal to start the injection. The injection speed, pressure value, pressure bar graph and remaining dosage will be displayed in real time on the screen. The injection speed is medium when pedaling to the front of the stroke. The injection speed is fast when pedaling to the rear of the stroke. PDL mode, with only slow injection speed. Step on the foot pedal to start the injection. After three beeps you will hear the auto injection prompt. Release the pedal, and the device starts to inject automatically. To exit the auto injection function, step on the foot pedal and release when the icon indicates that it has been stepped. If the auto injection is not required, do not release the foot pedal after hearing the auto injection prompt. The injection speed, pressure value, pressure bar graph and remaining dosage will be displayed in real time during injection. Dosage mode with slow and medium speed. You can click to set the dose. Step on the foot pedal to start the injection. The injection speed, pressure value, pressure bar graph and remaining dosage will be displayed in real time on the screen. The injection speed is slow when pedaling to the front of the stroke. The injection speed is medium when pedaling to the rear of the stroke. When the aspiration function is turned on, after releasing the foot pedal to stop the injection in any injection mode, the push rod will drive the cartridge piston to retract for a certain distance and then return to the previous position. Click the icon to enter the setting interface. Click to adjust the screen brightness. Click to adjust volume. 
turn on the smart reminder, the system has a prompt sound. When the cartridge volume is less than 20%, it will prompt anesthetic cartridge remain low. Remain low. When the dose is exhausted, it will prompt please change the anesthetic cartridge. Please change the anesthetic cartridge. In PDL mode, when the first green bar of the pressure bar graph lights up, it will prompt PDL. Reach PDL. In PDL mode, when the system is over pressure, it will prompt over pressure. Turn on the training mode. Training mode includes all the prompts of Smart Reminder and also equipped with some additional voice prompts. Unscrew the container and cartridge. Click setting icon. Choose check O-ring. Make sure the container and cartridge are removed. Click OK. Then the push rod will all come out. Carefully check whether there are cracks, wear, lubricating oil on the O-ring. You can choose whether to replace the O-ring according to the actual situation. After the inspection is completed, click OK. And the push rod will be fully retracted. When the injection is completed or the anesthetic is used up, the push rod needs to be returned to remove the used cartridge. Under the automatic injection function, when the anesthetic is used up, the push rod will automatically stop. Step on the foot pedal and release when the icon indicates that it has been stepped, then the push rod will automatically return to the bottom. Under the normal injection modes, when the anesthetic is used up, the push rod will stop automatically. When the foot pedal is released, the push rod will automatically return to the bottom. When there is still anesthetic left after the injection, click the change icon, and the push rod will automatically return to the bottom. Make sure the push rod is back to the bottom. Insert the handpiece containing the needle into the needle cap, then hold the needle cap and pull it out. Then unscrew the needle, including the needle cap, and dispose of it as medical waste. Then unscrew the container. Take off the anesthetic cartridge and dispose of it as medical waste. Place the handpiece on the handpiece holder and remove the handpiece support. Long press the power button to turn it off. Install the head of the power adapter. Insert the power adapter into the charging port of the main unit and start charging.